All right, YouTube, we're gonna be doing uh, an oil change and tire rotation today. Um, a couple things you need is a jack and a jack stand, and then also uh, some sort of uh, wheel chuck for the back wheels. Now, Mini Coopers uh, only come with two jack points, um, but you need to put the jack in a way that it's not gonna be in, in interfere with uh, the jack stand. Um, so there's a jack point underneath, right underneath the front wheel. You see this little block right here. That's where you're gonna put the jack stand, but you're gonna wanna come back about a foot or so to put your, your jack underneath. So the base plate of this jack stand doesn't interfere with your jack. So um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna raise it up and then I'm gonna put uh, rotate the tires from front to back. So one thing you're going to need to do before you fully uh, lift the car off the ground is pop off your uh, hubcaps and then uh, loosen up your bolts. If you don't loosen, up, loosen them up now, you're going to have issues later where the wheel is going to be spinning and you won't be able to get them loose. So I'm going to go ahead and pop those off and uh, loosen them up. So in order to get to them, uh, the hubcaps usually have some sort of groove, I don't know if you could see that on one of these uh, pieces. So what you can do is get a screwdriver underneath there and pry up on it. And then they just kind of just pop off. Just like that. Okay, and then you're gonna loosen up these four bolts and then do the same to the front. So I like to use one of these multi-point uh, T-wrenches. Um, the size of it, 11 sixteenths, that fits right on the bolt. Okay, so now they got the car off the ground, you'll notice that both front and rear tires are off the ground. That's because this car is pretty much, a, it's a stiff car and, and short wheelbase. It doesn't matter which point you uh, jack from, the front or the rear, um, you're still going to do this. Um, so I went ahead and started to put uh, the front jack in. And now I'm going to do a, a tire rotation front to back. And the reason why I'm doing front to back is because these tires are directional. So my next tire rotation will be taking them to the shop and getting them swapped to diff the other side of the rim. Uh, so let me uh, remove those wheels. And... So one thing to note is snug these down as much as you can before you put the vehicle back down on the ground. It just uh, helps save the threads in this bolt um, and saves the you know, time later that uh, you don't want to be replacing those things, um, you know, for the off chance that this wheel could come off the rim, pull those threads out. Um, so just safety, uh, snug them up as much as possible and then uh, tighten them down fully when you get when you put the vehicle back on the ground. All right, guys, that's it for a tire rotation. Thanks for watching.